What's up, YouTube? Blazing Otaku back with more Pokemon Light Platinum. In the last episode, we got here to Inhor City just to find out that the entire place, except for the Pokemon Center, is being blocked by a bunch of Combi. One of the worst Pokemon in existence. Um, at the end of the last episode, I said I'd do some grinding, which I actually did do a grinding montage at the beginning of this video. So let's just quickly go over uh, how my entire team is standing. We have Izanagi. Now at level 19, I know in the last episode I said I, I, that I wouldn't bring them up to um, like level 20 or anything, which I didn't. He's only level 19. Uh, Ren is now level 18. And Mushu is still level 19. I'm actually surprised. I thought he was level 20. I, I did not use him at all in the grinding montage, and I thought from the last time I recorded, I thought he became level 20 in the last video. I guess I was wrong. And then we still have the Elekit just chilling out back there. He's not even for support anymore. He's just there to look cool. But, uh, yeah. The reason why I brought Izanagi up to level 19 is because I actually have a rare candy in my bag. Now, like I said, I wasn't originally planning on bringing them up to this. But after reviewing a little bit more of the game, I, like, I just remembered that the next fight coming up is pretty tough. I completely forgot that, like, if you do not have an electric type, you are kind of screwed. Not exactly, it just makes it a whole lot tougher, so it makes it easier to have an electric type move. And wouldn't you know, Izanagi learned Spark at level 20. So let's just use the rare candy. Izanagi wants to learn Spark. However, Izanagi already knows four moves. Should we move you to leave to replace Spark? Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's forget. Hmm, let's see, 40, 35, uh, I like having Thunder Wave for now, and Leer, well, not, uh, hmm. I'd rather have two 100% accuracy moves than a 95. As you saw in the, uh, grinding montage, Izanagi actually fainted due to missing. Izanagi learned Spark. There we go. Izanagi is now usable. But yeah, while we're on our way back into the forest, um... I guess I could kind of explain, um, like, what my upload schedule is going to be like for now. Because this is actually something that I've been working on since I've set up my channel. And you can actually find it in the uh, description for my channel. Or in the About section. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's not even bother wasting time here. But, um, basically, uh, Monday, Tuesday will be, um, like, regular uh, Let's Play uploads. Wednesday is going to be something that, I let, that I'm going to be calling um, whatever Wednesday. That basically just means I'm going to be uploading whatever I feel like. Um, so that could be anything from a Let's Play video to a countdown to a review. Because there are still no set dates for like what, like no set day of the week for uh, reviews. Um, Thursday and Friday will be um, uh, regular Let's Play uploads again. And um, weekends uh, are going to basically be um, maybe there will be an upload, usually a Let's Play if there is, uh, just for the moment, because like, there's still a lot of stuff to work out with uh, like with reviews and everything, and there's still some other things that I'm still trying to work out. So yeah, let's just switch uh, Ren up in front. And this area was blocked off earlier by a bunch of Combi. Now there's Team Steam. Team Steam is ready to defeat any enemy. Okay. Team Steam Grunt would like to battle. Sent out Poochiana. Hey, by any chance are you the same Grunt that I beat the shit out of in the first episode? Because if so, good job training up a little bit. No, seriously. That's actually pretty amazing. He brought, like, what, a level 2 Poochiana up to level 16 and has two more Pokemon now? He did something, right? I don't know, maybe for putting me on the hit list he actually got promotion? Is that how, um... Team Steam operates? You put somebody on the hit list after you lose and you get promoted? Like, identify, identify the threat, get um, get promotion? Ooh, Shanks, that's actually a kind of a scary Pokemon. I didn't even fully realize like what Pokemon he was sending out because I was too busy, you know, rambling on. Like, I just, like, I saw that said Shinx. My brain registered Shinx. Get the hell out of there, Ren. But my like, brain also didn't properly, like, think, like, hey, it's a Shinx. It just registered that it was an electric type. Now Mushu's level 20. Trying to learn Rage? You know what? Rage is better than Growl. 
<laughs> I was originally not going to learn it, but apparently Mushu wanted to, or apparently something in the back of my mind was like, teach Mushu rage. A Zubat. I guess this is the perfect time to test out Izanagi's new strength. Go Izanagi! Okay, Spark is the first slot. I forgot that I got rid of Tackle, which was in his first slot. Boom! There we go. Izanagi already putting in work. A member of Team Steam defeated? Impossible! Uh, okay, apparently... Oh, our boss will be very angry. Apparently he isn't the same grunt because he didn't realize, Hey, you're the one that defeated me before. Next trainer. Team Steam is trying to conquer the world. Short, sweet, and to the point. Thank you. No, hey, let's take, let's expand the sea, expand the land by using the power of Primal Groudon and Kyogre. Or, hey, let's c just completely distort the world with the powers of Dialga and Palkia to create a new one. Nope, just world domination. Good old-fashioned world domination. Team Rocket would be proud. And a Shinx. Because I know by, by this point the Shinx will have Spark, so Ren is not the best option there. Yeah, Shinx learned Spark at like level 14 or something like that. Not a good idea for uh, Ren to be taking them on. Shinx is using charge. Your one chance to attack after getting burned, and you waste it on a charge. Team Steam, how? How do people think you're threatening? Ooh, a Talo. <laughs> Izanagi, show your worth twice in a row. Actually, hmm. ooh, damn, quick attack. Actually, I'm thinking... Okay, never mind. For some reason, I was thinking Taylor was defensive. No, it's just, it's just really only fast and has, like, decent uh, attack stat. <laughs> Pidov. It evolves into a powerful Star Raptor. Okay, no, I'm not even... That's an old-ass joke. And not even one from any of my channels. That's like an old thing, like, I think from Shofu's videos? Member of Team Steam defeated? Impossible! Uh, uh, are you really all gonna just say the same thing? Come on! Team Steam is ready to defeat any enemy. Are you the same person I battled already? Nope, because you have a glam meow. I already hate you. If you guys didn't see my last episode... Eh, nothing much really happened in it, but you learn of my hatred for Glam Meow. That's one of them. It learns Hypnosis. Cats are the ones that usually just randomly fall asleep, not put people to sleep. Just die. Just die. I don't like you, Glam Meow. Go to hell. Or if we're going by Dragon Ball Z logic, Hiffle. Fucking home for infinite losers. And a Shinx. <sighs> Man. Why is it that why does it seem that everyone and their grandmother has a Shinx? And it's like this is like the one that like eh, stumbling over my words. It's like I don't like, I don't dislike Shinx by any means. I actually really like it. It's very good in uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. It's one of the best Route 1 Pokemon you could ever get alongside Starly. But it's just like... You really just... You just have to give it to everybody in this game, don't you? I was about to call the guy that created this... Di uh, Dreano. No. Shit, what... Damn it, I don't remember this guy's name. Ah, crap. I mean, does it really matter? Besides, if I remember correctly, I think he actually named the 8th gym leader after himself. I'm not going to say anything about, um... That being, like, a, uh... Like, full-of-himself thing to do. 
because it's actually pretty common like for uh the rom like the rom hack creator to actually like put themselves somewhere in the game at least he didn't make himself the champion because then that would have just been an asshole thing to do Okay, really? You're all just saying the same defeat quote? Okay. Well, I found what was wrong with the combi, Blaze. Team Steam is... is team, yeah, team Steam in their, in their drive to create new equipment to capture legendary Pokemon were testing their inventions on these poor and defenseless combi. Yeah, the combi are poor and defenseless. They, they suck. Now I'll stop them at last. I doubt very much that you can defeat me, Sheila. Or, Sh yeah, Sheila? Oh, okay, Sheila, an admin of Team Steam. Go, Vespaquin! Go, Drifflim! That is why we need an electric type. Vespaquin, attack with Fury Cutter! Doesn't Bug resist? Or isn't Ghost, like, resistant to Bug? Drifflim, you shall ball! Okay, I didn't... I actually completely zoned out there. Get ready to face me, Sheila. Because, you know, the gym leader lost. Oh, I forgot she led with a Drift Loon. I just remembered that she had Drift Limb. <laughs> uh, let's switch to Elekid. Damn it! Chow Tag! Uh, damn. There's really no point doing anything else but splashing. There really isn't. Because <laughs> my two offensive moves of Headbutt and Wrath will not affect it. Water Sport does nothing, Splash does nothing. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna be here a while. I really wish that, like, there was a 1 in, like, 500 chance that Splash would just Oko something. Like, I really wish that was the case, because, like, like, even if it wasn't a normal-type move, like, even if it was a normal-type move, I wish it would hit Ghost-types, like, for that, like, 1 in 500 thing. Just so that, like, this kind of situation wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Uh, seriously. I really should have... Actually, no, it's kind of cheating to uh, have looked ahead to double-check what her entire team was. It was just that, like, wall grinding I remembered. Because, like, originally I was just going to bring uh, everybody up to, uh... Well, I was going to bring Ren up to level 18, but I was only going to bring, like, Izanagi to, like, 16 or 17. But, yeah, it's like, now I really do wish... Like, that I would have remembered she led with a Drift Loon. Damn it, why couldn't Construct have killed me? But nothing happened. Sorry, Ren. It's a good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. Go, Izanagi! Boom! It's a good thing Aftermath is not an ability in this game. Otherwise, that could have really hurt. Puchiana, let's switch to Mushu. I'm really nervous, like, right now. I... Oof, damn, accuracy drop. Come on. Yes, Mushu, thank you. I don't know why I was afraid that Mushu would miss, because it's not like he's Ren. Ren will miss for no reason. Duskull, let's stay out for now. And spam Ember. Foresight. Oh no, you're going to hit my normal type with a ghost type move. Oh wait, there's no normal type on my team. Wait, actually, no. Does Foresight let you uh, hit a normal type with a ghost type move? Because I know it lets you hit ghost with normal and fighting. 
maybe it works the other way around where it lets Ghost hit normal also? I'm not sure. Mushu's now level 21. Drift Limb. Okay, let's go back to Izanagi. I am nervous. Drifflim level 19. Constrict? Okay, that's not too bad. Use Thunder Wave, that way it's slower than me now, and also so it has a chance of not being able to hit me. And hit it up with Spark. Okay, so it's gonna be a two shot. Okay. Gust? That shouldn't do much. Nope. I'm just glad that thing did not like use Shadow Ball. Like, I don't remember if this thing actually does no Shadow Ball. I assume it does, because why would she knock out a Vespaquin with anything but Shadow Ball? Impossible! A Team Steam admin can't lose to a brat like you! This humiliating defeat has left me speechless. Th then why are you talking? I will keep coming back until I see you defeated. Thanks for saving me. You really look like a formidable opponent. I'll be waiting for your challenge at the in Horse City Gym. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> now I can understand being on the hit list. I just messed with an admin. I messed with an admin and won. And she basically said that you're definitely guaranteed a place on the hit list there, because it's like, I'm going to keep coming back until I see you defeated. If that doesn't scream hit list... I don't know what does. But yeah, a simple grunt put me on the hit list. That's gotta say something about this team's confidence. But yeah, let's heal up. Okay. And now there's actually a few things we could do. Now that the entire town is opened up to us again, including the gym, let's actually go up here. To the Inhor, like, Ake Institute or something. Ah, welcome to the University of Inhor. Here is where the most respected teachers and students discuss and study the Pokemon world and work towards a better future. Sounds like every other university I've ever heard of. This university is very clean and organized. I like everything about it. I think I think I'll enroll. Cool. This person here will actually give us something. There are many items that could yeah, you could use to improve your Pokémon's performance in battle. Thank you for the XP share. You sir deserve an award. You just gave the champ the well the eventually to be champion one of the items that's going to help him along his way. We're studying and working on some interesting issues about the origins and abilities of Pokemon. Okay, goodbye, crazy. Hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, let's see. Blaze, just by looking at you, I can see that you have great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to let you choose one of these three rare Pokemon to help you on your quest. Yep, he offers you the, uh, the Hoenn starters. I'm actually going to be using one of them on my team. But I'm actually going to uh, pick it up off, well not off screen, I'm going to actually pause and be back when I actually get the one I want. Because there's a few things I'm looking for when it comes to this. So yeah, I'll be back in a second for you. Who knows how long for me. And I am back. Um, I actually did decide to go for the Trico. The reason why uh, I actually had to stop for this is because... I have, uh, I had completely forgotten that a gift Pokemon you cannot nickname right off the bat. So I had stopped just to make sure that I got a male Trico and so that I could give it its nickname. But I unfortunately forgot. You can't re-nickname them until you get to the name raider, which I believe is the third gym. But yeah, for now, welcome Trico with a calm nature. Ooh, that's some pretty good special attack. Okay, let's switch Absorb to the front. It's level 10, so it's not going to... Why did I go out of the thing when I could just do this? Item, give... They give you the XP share in the perfect place. There we go. 
I am so happy. We finally have a new team member. And we can finally drop uh, the yellow kid. Seriously, I am glad that, like... It's not that, like, the Ella Kid pisses me off that it's there. It's just, like, it pisses me off for the fact that it's, like, you're so much better than an Electrike when you first get it. Because it's, like, you only have to suffer through four levels with you, and you get to level 10 almost instantly on the first route. You can't avoid any of the trainers on the first route. So it's not like you could go and catch it yourself in Ella Kid, and then go back onto the first route and get it to, like, level 10, and then, like, suffer a little bit later. Pause it. So we have the gift Cyndaquil, the gift Growlithe, the P the Pichu that was forced upon us, basically, and the gift Elicate. Hold on, let me actually rearrange it. Well, actually, no, I got that and that. And then we have the rest of the stuff from the uh, field zone, except for the Mian Shao or Mian Fu, whatever the first form was. That pisses me off still. But yeah. I think that's just about it. Eh, actually no. Uh, let's actually see if we could go and take on the gym. So for that, let's actually put Mushu up in front. Because I'm not even going to try to mess around with, um... Oh, shit. Hey Blaze, I just got my first Zeri League badge here in Inhorse City. Now I'm going after the second gym. It said it's very hard, but first I'll test your strength with a Pokemon battle. I completely forgot this was here. Pokemon Trainer Red would like to battle. I am glad I switched Ren out from the front. I completely forgot that Red was here, let alone he led with Pikachu. Because you know for a goddamn fact, like, that thing probably has Thunderbolt that would have just shocked Ren into goddamn death. With, like, as soon as I sent her out. Turtwig? Uh, okay. I don't know why you have a Turtwig. I mean, then again, you are in a different region. You might have wanted to catch some new Pokemon. It's understandable for you to still have P uh, Pikachu. Eh, whatever. Trico's now level 11. Learn Quick Attack. Riolu. Yeah. To all the fanboys that think Riolu would be a great Pokemon, like, like Lucario would be a great Pokemon for Red to have, there you go. Now let's try to get Ren to take it on. Riolu identified Ren. Ren used Headbutt again. It used Reflect. Oh, I thought, I thought, no, it's, uh, Miracle, I think it's called? Ooh, damn, Endure. So you raise your defense and then use Endure. Don't use Endure again, you little shit. There we go. Ren is now level 19. One more level. One more level and my team shall be undefeatable. Well, far from it, but still. That was a stroke of luck. I hope we meet again. I think you could defeat this gym leader if you fight smart. Oh, so you mean remove Mushu from my party. Remove Izanagi from my party. Delete, just have Rem, Ren sp spam Splash and bring, I don't know, the Pikachu from my PC into the gym? No. Remove everything from my party except for Trico. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's playing smart. Oh, and he also gives us HM01 cut. It could be used to cut down small bushes anywhere in the world, but only if you have the Inhorse City badge. For now, I wish you good luck in the, this battle and say... Wait. I, w eh, I will wish you good luck in this battle and say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm I'm really glad he did not walk like decide to walk up the street, because that would have taken forever. I I was actually kind of like afraid that if I stepped in front of the gym, like another one would pop out. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
I wasn't originally expecting to have to battle red. I thought I might be able to take on a little bit of the gym this episode. I was wrong. So um, until next time, guys, sub, like, comment, do your thing. Next episode, we will be taking on our first gym here in the, well, I almost said in the Inhor region, in the Zeri League. So yeah, until next time, guys, sub, like, comment, do your thing. I'm out. Sayonara.